live from Studio 46, this is Good Morning Union Canal. Good Morning Union Canal, a place where we show respect, show responsibility, show safety, and do our job. Please rise for the salute to the flag. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag. And now let's say our union cannot create. Today is a new day to reach my potential. You may be seated. Good morning. Today is Monday, May 31st, 2022. It is day four on the special schedule. The announcements this morning are given by Hannah Klein and Romeo Cruz. Today's lunch is Doritos Walking Taco, Fiesta Black Beans, Lettuce, Tomato, Cheese, and oh yeah, Salsa. 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 Salsa, summer salsa, summer salsa, summer salsa, summer salsa, summer, 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 summer break, summer break, summer break, summer break. Please. Also, fresh fruit and vegetable bar and milk. On the salad bar is an uncrustable. With cow meat, throw up, and witches stew. Oh, that sounds so gross. Or if that doesn't sound good to you for some reason, you can also get an Anytimers Munchable Pack. Of course, you can get an Anytimers Munchable Pack. You can get it anytime that you want. Well, as long as it's on a Tuesday or Thursday during normal lunch hours. <laughs> There are no birthdays today. We would like to welcome all our guest teachers who are with us today. Today's top stories are, tomorrow is the Mr. Litz Car Character Carnival of Characters Outdoor Extravaganza. Make sure you wear something comfortable because we'll be outside all afternoon running, dancing, shooting bows and arrows, eating popcorn, and doing various things involving socks. The fun starts tomorrow afternoon at 1.20, so be there or be somewhere else. That's right, and now I'm here with some more information and with the results of the semifinals of GMUC May Madness, one list to rule them all, it's our own Mr. B. Oh, hey guys, hey, Mr. B here, down in the Mr. Litz War Room, and guys, the week has arrived. Guys, our first week of celebrations for Mr. Litz begins tomorrow, on June 1st. Tomorrow, it is the Mr. Litz Character Carnival of Characters Outdoor Extravaganza, weather pending, although it's looking like it's gonna be okay. And guys, let's go over really quickly one more time. We've got so many fun events. We've got the El Smells Magic Land, Christmas time in June, Sock Extravaganza of Socks. How many socks do we have? This is one garbage bag I have. I have more, okay? Thank you to all of you who donated your old, smelly, dirt. they're clean, okay, they're actually not smelly. But thank you for donating those socks. You're gonna get to have a lot of fun playing with those socks tomorrow, okay? How about something else? How about, oh, I don't know, how about the Green Guys Freeze Dance Party? Oh. And then you move. Hey. And guys, teachers, you're picking. Teachers, you're watching. Whoever wins is moving on to a very exclusive club at the very end of the day. They're going to get to do something that very few people get to say that they had a chance to do, okay? So, good luck dancing tomorrow. Good luck free. Good luck dancing. Good luck. Oh, what else do we have? How about Cupid's Boing! bow and arrow shooting gallery of love. Guys, we're trying to hit those targets, trying to get pinpoint accuracy with those suction cup tips, having some fun outside with the bows and arrows. Oh, how about that bucket full of popcorn theater? Because it's the very best of Mr. Litz. Guys, this is the only event tomorrow that's going to actually be indoors. It's going to be inside in the fourth and fifth grade pod. 
it's a little, it's gonna be a little warm. You might need a little time to cool down a little bit, okay? You can use the restroom, you can sit, you can relax in the air conditioning and enjoy some popcorn as you see the highlights of Mr. Blitz's career. And also, let's not forget, but the very intense runners, very intense point five K race of destiny where one of you is gonna be taking home this exclusive one-of-a-kind trophy of the very intense runner. It's the very intense trophy. Whoever runs not the fastest, but with the most intensity is going to be taking this home at the end of the day. Tomorrow, you will be the most intense student of them all. And speaking of intense, let's get on with it, guys. <sighs> GMUC may made this one lits to rule them all, guys. I can't believe it. We had even more votes this time than last time. More of you voted. You made your voices heard, and your voices were heard loud and clear this week because we had two big matchups. Our first matchup was in our blue group. It was a triple threat match. We pitted Litzbot versus the very intense runner. Oh, yeah. Versus Cupid. Oh, who is the one who is moving on? Only one of these three can move on. Is it going to be Litzbot? Did he strangle the competition? Is it the very intense runner? Was he so intense he scared him away? Or was it Cupid with his little arrows of love? Except instead of love, it scared them away and they ran away. Who is the winner? Well, the winner of the blue group matchup. And who is going to the finals is... Not a surprise at all. It's Litzbot! Litzbot is moving on big time. And guys, talk about a blowout. <laughs> Look at that! 80.5% of the vote. Cupid and the very intense runner did not stand a chance. Litzbot, he was our number one seed in the blue group, and that's why, right there. Look at all that blue. Come on, guys. Litzbot, third straight year making it to the finals. Two years ago, he went up against Sam and Gracie. He lost. Last year, triple threat in the finals, he went up against Green Guy, and he went up against the Kettner Girls, and he lost again. Could this be Litzbot's year? Well, you're going to be the one to determine that. Orange group. We got another. Who's going to go up against Litzbot this year? Is it going to be the Green Guy? Will it be the Green Guy, who's I, not green there, but just use your imagination? Or the Elves from Elves Magic Land. Wow, look at all those socks. Wow. Or... Kenny J coming here this week on Thursday to perform live outdoors in his farewell tour. <coughs> farewell tour, sorry. Oh, who won? Guys, this was a crazy matchup because everyone here brings a different level of craziness to the table. We got the green guy's utter chaos. We've got the Elsmell's Magic Land with their lovely, very joyful, very merry type of chaos. And we've got Kenny J, who, come on, he's chaotic, okay? Only one of them can win. And the winner, moving on to the finals. It was pretty close. Green guy's moving on! He has won! He beat them both. He is moving on for the second year in a row to the finals. Look at these matchups though. 50%, he got half the vote. Elsmo's Magic Land really going strong, actually. 30, almost 35% of the vote. Kenny J, well, not quite as great as we would have expected, but he's still coming to perform. He's not gonna bag out in his concert, okay? But Green Guy is moving on to the finals for the second year in a row. And for the second year in a row, he is going to be going up against Lit Spot. Green Guy versus Lit Spot. In the finals, only one Litz can rule them all. Who's it going to be? Lit Spot, Green Guy, Green Guy, Lit Spot. I don't know how you pick. I really don't. They both bring something different to the table, yet something kind of similar, too. You're going to vote just like you did last week. You get one voice, one vote, one chance to make your voice heard, and one chance to pick one Litz to rule them all. But we also have something else we're gonna ask you this week. When you go to vote, you're gonna see a very familiar looking thing here. We've got all the voting options. Litzbot or Green Guy, there they are. But we have another question for you. We have a fantasy matchup. You know, we had all Mr. Litz characters this year because it's a very special year. It's one year, one Litz to rule them all. But what if you got to pick a character to go up against either Litzbot or Green Guy? Who do you think may have had a chance against Litzbot or Green Guy. Don't forget, 
Last year, the Kettner girls beat them both. Don't forget, two years ago, Sam and Gracie, they beat Litzbot in the finals. So it's possible. This year, it's not because it's just Litzbot versus Green Guy. But who had a chance? Well, we have a huge list of names here. It is endless. These are all the characters that I could think of off the top of my head. And they're in alphabetical order. And you're gonna pick your top eight, no more than eight, pick eight characters, up to eight characters, who you think may have stood a chance against Litzbot, against Green Guy in the finals. Now, the results are gonna be revealed, not only of that, but of who is the one list to rule them all. Next week, at our live Good Morning Unique House season finale. Voting this week is extended one extra day. It's going all the way to Friday. You can vote up till Friday this week, but get your votes in because next week at the Good Morning Unique House live season finale, that is when we will find out once and for all who is the one lit to rule them all. Guys, get voting and we'll see you tomorrow for the Mr. Litz Outdoor Character Carnival of Characters Outdoor Extravaganza. We'll see you then. We're going to throw it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Mr. V. In other news, attention all students, if you would like a copy of the 2021-2022 Union Canal yearbook and you forgot to buy one, no need to worry. They're on sale down in the office right now. You can buy one for the low introductory price of $10. Wait, that is that it? What do you mean? Like that's the entire announcement? Oh well, yeah. Why? You mean there isn't like a new character that's going to show up and try to steal the yearbooks or sell them back or something? No, Hannah, gosh! Does everything have to be a big production to you? Wait, come back! Please, come back! What? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I just, it feels weird to make an announcement and not have a big, huge waste of time, you know? Oh, what? Do you think I like it? Do you? Because I don't! Wait, you don't like it either? Of course I don't! I don't like it! Of course I want this yearbook announcement to be a huge waste of time! Who wouldn't? But do you think I'm the one writing these scripts? I just do what I'm asked, okay? Romeo, I'm, I'm so sorry. No, Anna. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Sorry that our friendship had to end like this. No, please, wait, come back, Romeo, come back! Oh, who am I kidding? I can't leave you. Not after all that you've been through. We sure have been through a lot, haven't we? Yeah, lots of great memories. You got that right, and hey, looks like we just made another memory. What do you mean? I mean the memory of turning this huge announcement into a huge waste of time. Yes! 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 yes. Let's head over to Ms. Pedrick with the weather. Mrs. Pedrick? Good morning, Union Canal. It's Mrs. Pedrick here with your weather. Today, it is looking wonderful, nice and warm. And tomorrow, don't forget, we have our Mr. Litz Carnival Extravaganza, which is going to be amazing. I can't wait. And it's supposed to be nice and warm for that. But next Thursday, it's about to get even hotter because it is our last day of school. <laughs> hosting the show, how are we over here? Thanks, Ms. Pedrick. For Hannah Klein and all of us here at Good Morning in the Canal, I'm Romeo Cruz reminding you to lucky, lucky, lucky. Have a great day. How is it not fair? <laughs>